Uh, today's 1st of May up here at the camp. What a beautiful day. Came up, took the rototiller off, putting the uh, culture packer on. We'll go through the dry areas that they uh, tilled up last week. And uh, I dissed them and grabbed drug them. And uh, tilled it up, rototiller. This uh, culture packer doesn't really work too well in uh, the wet stuff because it doesn't have cleaners on it. Uh, so it just packs up and rolls up all that mud. But uh, it's uh, when this dry stuff, it'll work just perfect. So I'm gonna get on. Got to get this thing centered up a little bit, and then I'll get on out of here. All right, this is the first food plot I'm gonna do. Plan here is to cut the pack, spread the clover, and then cut the pack it in again. Got to push it down in. This is the stand out here that's got a feeder I don't know if you can see it out there out there in the clear cut and, uh, I've got this little food plot here not a big one but this one's always usually pretty dry so this one will be a good one to, to cult the pack So I've got it firmed up and uh, caught the pack. So I'll come in and spread this Alice clover. I'm gonna come back again. I'm gonna cult the pack it in again. And uh, then we'll leave it and we'll see what happens. If I can keep people from driving on this thing. For some reason, even though I leave a path over here, they'll wanna take the trucks and Jeeps and go right down the middle of the food plot. Uh, this, this looks pretty good. This is an Alice Clover. Very, very, very small, fine stuff. Got no coating on it. Pretty full. Let's see what we can do here.
that's the final product. Yeah, two days we should have some rain on this. Hopefully we'll see something come up. All right, this is the second one done. That clover is so fine, it's hard to see how much you're putting out. So I had to kind of keep my finger in front of the spray so I could feel it to make sure I'm putting something out. You just can't see that stuff. No color to it. But, uh, this one's done. This is a really long one. All right, well, I guess I'm done for the day. Had my hand spreader drop off the tractor and ran over it with the damn rear tire, so pretty much finished that. Um, out here on the power line, and this is already coming up, this perseum clover. You can see, this was planted on Thursday, and uh, it's already popping up. This ground is so wet. Stuff it on a little bit. That's why I really thought this would do so well out here because this is just a swamp. And uh, you know, when you kind of look at it, you sort of think you're kind of on a ridge here, but you really aren't. It's just a damn hole. And uh, yeah, wherever I walked and pressed it in a little bit, well, it came up gangbusters, but it's coming up everywhere. So. This might be a good stand. This was just broadcast, not cultipacked, nothing, just rototilled and broadcast. That's it. And hopefully this will be a nice, a nice stand. This is the Racine Clover. This stuff's coming up great. It's looking real good. This is real wet in here. You can tell this stuff loves the wet because wherever it's wet, you got a green haze to it. It's just coming up like crazy. Where it dries out a little bit, you know, you end up, it's there, but it's really not coming up all that great. But boy, that's just thick as shit right there. That's nice. Again, that's just tilling it and throwing it on the, uh, on the ground and leaving it. No working it in. Boy, a deer bit in here. Good Lord. They got it all pooched up in here. Get a little bit of the grass that I tilled up is coming back. But that'll be all right. Very good. One of the reasons I can't cultipack this stuff out here where it's wet is, like I found out today, you know, that little cultipacker, the the discs are so small that uh, the minute you get anything wet, it just wraps up on it. There's no cleaners. Um, it, it's really bad. Even in the dry stuff, it'll start to plow. And then uh, you got to go back and drag it back out and go over it a bunch of times. So the bigger, bigger cultipacker discs are definitely the way to go. These small ones, are, you're, you're going to fight them. Uh, you fight them in the wet, you fight them in the dry. So it'd be nice to have a little bit uh, bigger disc. 